voltage is one of the most important quantity and idea in electricity. And in this video, we are going to develop an intuitive feeling of what voltage means. But it has to do with potential energy of electrical charges and that's what we are going to cover here. We are not going to do any sort of derivation, but we are going to do an intuitive description of what voltage means. We are going to start with an analogy to gravity. Gravity and voltage are really similar ideas. I am going to draw a mountain over here. So let me just draw a mountain with a snow. So this is our mountain and we have our snow. I am going to put a mass over here. So let's say this is our mass M. And you can say that it was lifted up to the top of the hill somehow by a sky lift or a mountain climber or anything like that. And if I put it to the top of mountain and let it go, the potential energy it has is going to be dissipated as kinetic energy. And the mass is going to roll down the hill to let's say here. So it is going to roll down all the way from here to the bottom over here. All right. And as it does, it could do some work. And as it is going to the and as it is going to the bottom, it could do some work. Let's say it could hit some of the trees over here. Let me just draw a random tree. Yeah. So let's say this is a random tree. So the mass can hit all the trees and all the stones which are there. Maybe it could hit a bear or it could bounce off some rocks, all sort of things. So that's a mass rolling down a hill. Now if I draw, this is a way to think about voltage. Think about voltage as being another mountain top and this time we'll put a battery over here. So let me just draw a mountain. So this is our mountain with snow and now I'll put a battery with negative terminal to the top and positive terminal to the bottom. This is our battery and this is what a battery does. It actually builds our mountain. The battery delivers electrons to the top of hill. So if I connect the negative end of the battery to the top, it will deliver all the electrons to the top. So this is our electron. So electron is coming out of the negative terminal of the battery. And if I release this, it's going to roll down the hill and eventually it's going to return to the bottom side of the battery. So if I release this electron from the top of mountain, it will roll down, down and eventually it will hit the bottom and then again from here, come back. But this is the same thing. This is the image you have in your head when we hook up the circuit. Along the way, I could put up different circuit components like let's say resistor or capacitor or let's say inductor and whatnot. I could make this electron do work and bump into things as it goes down. So the amount of voltage here is proportional to the height of the mountain. So let's say the height of mountain is say 500 meters. So this could correspond to let's say 500 volts. This is fairly a large unit. I'm just taking random numbers. A low voltage mountain will have lower height than this. So you can relate things. The electrons are pushed out the top by the battery and roll down to the bottom doing work along the way. This is where we do our circuit design. So electron is at the top and it will roll down the bottom. In between, we can use all the components we want. And this is where circuit designing comes. We buy our battery and do our circuit design and study over here. So this is a pretty good analogy for thinking about voltage as you begin to build your circuits. That's all for this lecture. Let's talk more about voltage in the next lecture.